Oh, hello, you beautiful viewer, and welcome to Loco in Love. I'm your host, Sergio Angeles. Did you know that according to the Pew Research Center, 75% of daters say that they have found it very or somewhat difficult to find people to date in the past year? Or that 67% of daters say that overall, things in their dating life are not going well at all? And that 47% of Americans say dating is now harder than it was 10 years ago? Well, I hope that we can change that. Loco in Love is a new show by Longmont Public Media to help Longmont singles find love and to help two individuals commit the perfect crime to steal each other's hearts. Our first eligible bachelor is a charming, eloquent, warm-hearted man in his mid-30s. He recently purchased a beautiful home in downtown Longmont, loves his dog Remy, and makes a delicious enchilada sauce. Let's meet Shaquille. And as you get to know him, pay attention to your heart and see if it says, oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. I mean, secretly I'm a Bing fan. You know that ladies love Bing. I've never had applesauce before. No, I wanna go back to the other question. Can you ask it again? Oh crap. I get nervous when I'm trying to impress someone. I'm depressingly straight. Uh, I'm good with my hands in multiple ways, yes. I am Shaquille Dalal, 34 years old. I am five foot six. I weigh 165. That's a lie. I weigh 155. 165 <laughs> used to be the lie when I weighed 185, but now I can honestly say I weigh 155. I have two older siblings, two sisters. I moved to Longmont in 2017 to start a company. I break things before they get sent into space. Do you feel nervous? No, I don't feel nervous. Do you know I've never been in love? Have I ever told you that? No. Yeah. Hmm. I am looking for love. Do you have any pets? I have a dog. Her name is Remy. She's seven years old. Um, she will always be happy to meet new people and she'll be very happy to meet you. Oh man, what is my favorite restaurant? I really like Long's Peak Pub. Um, it's always less expensive than you expect it to be, even if you get beer, and I really like the beer there. I like uh, West Side Tavern. I think I have more favorite bars than restaurants now that I think about it. I mean, my favorite bar is Dryland Distillers. They are most famous for like their mezcal, but I actually like their whiskey. Quarters is a really good place to take a first date. It's an arcade if you're like a little bit competitive and into video games. I think I am without a doubt a mama's boy. The way that I know that is because I've been cooking with my mom since I was five. I would get tricked into making the this traditional flatbread that called a roti that Indian people make. It's sort of like a tortilla. It has to be handmade, has to be fresh. You can't buy them in stores, at least you couldn't back then. And so my mom would make like 200 of them every weekend for like all the week's meals. And I eventually, I started doing it because it was fun and then it became a trap. But yeah, that's how I know my mom's boy. If you happen to be stranded on an island, what one item would, would you take with you? I mean, is a dog an item? Can I call a dog a thing? Yeah, dogs are a thing. So I would take my dog. That's a, that's a good, easy one. Um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go with the dog. Does the curtain match the drapes? Yes. What are you looking for? <laughs> 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 match the drapes? Let's say a kid comes up to you and kicks you in the shin. What do you do? I would absolutely punch that child. How would my friends describe me? I try to be funny because I think people find that attractive and I enjoy making people laugh. I've been told that I can be really nice by people who have just met me. What's your favorite sex position? Honestly, I like cuddling. And so anything that, anything that feels like cuddling is gonna work for me. What's your uh, secret sexual fantasy? I am really glad that I am comfortable with my privacy and just knowing that all of us are a little bit broken on the inside a little bit. And as a result, we all have deep, dark secrets that we'll never tell anyone. And this is one of them. Truth or dare? Truth, I'm such a chicken. I'd rather like reveal something about myself than actually have to do something. 
Here are three truth questions for you. Oh shit, I didn't realize we were actually playing this game. What's the last what's the last thing you Googled? I actually turned my phone off. So I can I'll go get my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the last thing I Googled. So does it have to be Google.com or what if I use a different search engine? It has to be Google. Oof. I don't know what the last thing I searched for, but... Wow, these are all really old, actually. Uh, so the last thing I Googled was funny flags for house. So I have an American flag on my house because I am a very patriotic person. Um, I'm liberal patriotic as opposed to conservative patriotic. Anyway, people tell me that having an American flag on, front, on the front of my house confuses them because that's like a very Republican thing to do. But you know what? Fuck the Republicans. It's our flag too, God damn it. What are your skills? What is, what's in your tool belt? What's in my tool belt? Um, I have a batarang in my tool belt. I also have a flashlight in my tool belt. Um, not one of those people who carries a pocket knife, but I do have a pocket knife that I sometimes carry around as a tool. Um, I really enjoy cooking. I uh, am good with my hands. I like fixing things around the house. Uh, I like to think that I'm generally good at things that I put some effort into being good at. Woodworking is not one of those things. I find woodworking incredibly intimidating. First of all, I think the table saw is like a fundamentally terrifying tool that can never be safe. Uh, what's your favorite part of your body? I don't think I have a favorite part of my body. I got body issues, man, just like everybody else. And so, yeah, I don't really think I have a favorite part of my body. I think being a cat or a dog in a society that keeps pets would be a lot of fun. It would be real relaxing, it would be chill. Um, also, I think being a bird would be really cool. I think I would enjoy the sensation of flying. I am a really bad swimmer, so like a blue whale would be really cool. What are some of your hobbies? I play board games, I cook, I play with my dog. I'm really involved in my community. I love civics, so I'm involved in the local public access TV station, Longmont Public Media, longmontpublicmedia.org. Um, I really like local politics. I like getting involved in city council elections and helping candidates. I, I sort of think of my job like a hobby sometimes. I mean, obviously I'm getting paid for it, but it is a lot of fun to like, deal with stuff that goes to space every day. I really like work sometimes, actually. I liked science probably from like fifth or sixth grade on, but I think I knew I wanted to be a scientist after I took my first chemistry class. Yeah, yeah, so we'll call that a hobby of its own. I think if work wasn't scratching that itch for me, other things would have to. Where do you see yourself in the future? It's in Longmont. Definitely involves a family. I want kids, don't know exactly how many kids. Um, I think I'm gonna be a really good father someday and I'm looking forward to doing that. I think two is the right number. Three's a lot of kids, man. Like, three, raising three humans seems like a lot of work, but two I think I could do. What are you looking for in a partner? Um, I think I'm looking for someone who has the same values that I do. I think values are what create a stable long-term relationship. Though in terms of personality, I like assertive personalities. Um, I have a thing for prominent noses, like sort of angular, like, you know, prominent noses. I would describe my personality, um, deep down, I am a gigantic softie. I get really sentimental about certain things. Yeah, smart, I like smart people, I enjoy having conversations with people that are not just like small talk. I enjoy like really learning about the other pe person because I think it's really interesting to learn how someone else sees the world. I think the view that I will never forget was a night in the summer of 2005. I was in the Monongahela National Forest for a summer camp in West Virginia and I went for an evening stroll with a girl and we walked into this clearing in the woods where there just, it was in the middle of a forest, but there were no trees. And the cool thing about this part of West Virginia is that it's in the National Radio Quiet Zone. 
and so there is no light pollution of any kind. And you walk, we walked into this clearing in the forest and the far tree line was just covered in fireflies. And they, I mean, there must have been millions of them. And you looked up into the sky and that was the first time I ever saw the Milky Way, 100% clear with no light pollution, nothing. And I will never forget that moment. What's your type? I like assertive personalities. I like someone who just reads random things and has interesting things to talk about, whether it's like a magazine article or a news story, or just a fun fact that you have about whatever random situation we're in. Um, I like, I like having someone who I can experience something with and come away from that experience with more than if I had done it by myself. What are you looking for in a partner? I really don't know. I won't know until I see it. There have been people who I got really close to and I don't know. None of, none of them fit a template that I can identify. I, I don't know. I'll know when I see it. What? What do you think being in love means? I think being in love is, um, it's having a deep sense of trust with someone to know that you can rely on them and to know that they will be there and to know that you care more about their well-being than your own and that um, you can live your life assuming that level of ongoing support for them and from them and that uh, and that's an empowering thing for a person when you can move through life with that kind of support. Were you captivated by Shaquille's gentle eyes? Or maybe his humor gave you more than a chuckle? <laughs> or maybe you were attracted to his radiant charisma? We'll be scheduling three dates for three lucky women. And if you think Shaquille may steal your heart, let us know by visiting longmontinlove.com forward slash contestants. If you're single in Longmont and would like to be on Loco in Love, let us know by filling out an application at longmontinlove.com forward slash apply. Tune in for the next episode and see if Shaquille inches closer to being Loco in Love. Until next time. Uh, I tried not to censor myself.